Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Beat the Experts, brought to you by Falcone Moon Ford. Alongside Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. The weather is starting to cooperate, so that's good news for baseball and softball teams because section play in girls softball ends May 8th, and baseball is May 10th. AJ, a lot of good games this week here. Let's break some of them down. Yeah, and so far we have had several good baseball teams emerge in the Times coverage area, and two of them so far enter the week unbeaten. One of those teams, of course, is West Allegheny, which plays rival Moon on Wednesday, a big test for the Indians. The Indians are 8-0. They've won six of their eight games by seven or more runs. Very dominant performance. That includes a 7-0 win over Moon the first time around when these two teams met. The two close games were an 18-15 wild game against Montour and a more traditional 4-1 win over Chartier's Valley. And not only has West Allegheny been, been dominant so far, Mike, but the Indians have some extra motivation this week. Not only do they want to continue to win and continue to finish up strong, but wins over Moon and Montour would clinch yet another section title for West Allegheny under Brian Cornell. That's a big carrot at the end of the stick. Yeah, AJ... Um they're, they're playing uh, Wednesday out at uh, West Allegheny, a 4.30 game. Uh, in the Beaver County Times uh, Whippy Old Baseball Rankings, we have West Allegheny at 3 and Moon at 4. Uh, both of these teams have several very talented players. Obviously, uh, West Allegheny has Austin Hendrick. Uh, he's a sophomore who's going to go to, he's already committed to Mississippi State. Um, he has some incredible stats so far this season. He has 31 at-bats, he's walked 11 times, his on-base percentage is 742, he's batting 579. Wow. Um, West Allegheny has three other guys batting over 400, but Moon also has a lot of talent. Uh, Nick Maui, who's going to go to Dayton, is batting 400, uh, and also uh, Seven Schoenweiss. Uh, he was a losing pitcher when he uh, lost to West Allegheny the first time. He's actually going to IUP. so. A uh, lot of tell on a baseball field for both of these teams. And West Allegheny is not the only undefeated team so far right now in the Times coverage area. Blackhawk is also unbeaten, and the Cougars have a big test this week as well yeah. as they play South Fayette on Thursday. It's a rematch of the closest game that Blackhawk has played this year, a 3-2 win at home back on April 10th. The rest of Blackhawks' 12 wins have all been by multiple runs. And in that game, Andy McClyman's got the win. He's an outstanding pitcher for Blackhawk. He's been in their workhorse the last couple of years. But the schedule might turn out this time around for Michael Turconi, who pitched Friday against Hopewell to pitch against South Fayette. And you know what? Turconi, who's a Wake Forest commit, has been outstanding. We know what he can do with the bat, but in his last three outings, Turconi has allowed just one run and has struck out 26. If he goes against South Fayette, I wouldn't be surprised for him to have another outstanding game. Yeah, you know what, uh, as you said, AJ, uh, the South Fayette game was the closest call for Blackhawk. Uh, they scored a run in the bottom of the sixth inning. It was a home victory, 3-2, on an RBI single by Andy McClymans. Um, we talked about Andy a lot so far this year. Andy is a uh, was always a pitcher at Blackhawk. This is the first year he's playing uh, infield, uh, third base, sometimes first base. He's also hitting for the first time this year. He bats fourth in the lineup. And in that game, when they beat South Fayette the first time, Andy had all three RBIs. <laughs> How about that? Uh, finally, you know, this week's actually going to bring a little bit of clarity, finally, to one of the best section races in softball that we've had this year, and that is Section 3 in Class 4A. Beaver leads the way right now with a 6-1 record, but Blackhawk is right behind the Bobcats. They're 7-2. and two. Ambridge has played a few fewer games. They're 5-2. and two. Beaver and Ambridge play back-to-back -back games on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Blackhawk and Ambridge play on Thursday. And, Mike, uh, this has been really interesting because it's a contrast in style. Beaver and Ambridge both produce a lot of runs. They're great offenses, great hitting teams. Blackhawk has maybe the best pitcher, most experienced pitcher in the section in Breed Dicton. Plus, Class 4A is so crowded. Bell Vernon, Elizabeth Ford, Yawk, Mount Pleasant, these are all good teams. So all of these section games, with very few non-section games being played, are going to be crucial to the playoff seeding process. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Ambridge, uh, I believe, lost their first two games in the section. The first two games of the season, actually, and have now won five straight they're pitching a freshman, Ashley DeWeese. Uh, Coach Baba UR has been there for a long time. Uh, they actually are the uh, reigning section champs in that section. AJ, this is actually a big week for a lot of those teams in those sections because 
Beaver's in first place right now, but Blackhawk, Central Valley, Ambridge, and Newcastle were all on the hunt. A big week for that section. Absolutely right. So it should be a big week for baseball and softball. You can keep track of all of these games on timesonline.com. And join us at noon Wednesday and at noon Thursday for the latest editions of Game On. So for Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. That does it for now. We'll see you soon.